Hello everyone, as we get every week a lot of questions regarding interactive broker accounts and if you should use margin or cash accounts, we would uh, present you all the important details today um, between cash and margin accounts here in the video. You will see the benefits and also the disadvantages. So just make sure you don't want to miss any of our videos in the future to subscribe here to our channel. I would be very happy and now we will have a look here on the screen. Yeah, today we want to discuss cash versus uh, margin. As always at the beginning, just the risk information that we are not giving any trading recommendation or advices. But now we want to jump to the characteristics of a cash account. And I think most of you, they are normally starting to trade in a cash account. What well, is um, normally no problem at all, especially if you trade only stocks long in your base currency, in your account currency. But as soon, let's say you have an account in Euro and you want to trade US markets, then you need to exchange your currency from Euro to US dollar. Otherwise, you're not able to trade in different markets. The same, of course, for British pound or any other currency where you want to trade in. You will see here in the video on top uh, how to exchange um, currencies. Also, we will have a quick overview later when we go to the Trader Book Station or to the uh, client portal. The second thing is uh, that no pattern day trading rule applies to your account. I mean, if you're trading inside IB Ireland, then there's anyway no pattern day trading rule. But especially for IB UK or IB LNC, you don't need to worry that you can exceed their maximum amount of pattern day trades. So that's a good thing for the cash account. Another thing what is important to know that you can't trade all products. For example, if you want to trade in futures or in options, uh, you need to have a margin account. Or also if you want to do some short selling, you should have a margin account here for, for stocks. And the fourth thing is uh, there's no minimum funding. So you can just start without any limitations, uh, with one euro, with ten dollars, whatever, the account will be open, at least with interactive broker. With other brokers, it should be also different between cash and the margin account. So that's the main characteristics for a cash account. We will see later also the details, like I said, in the Trader Workstation and in the client portal. Now to the margin account. What is a margin account? At the end, the uh, margin account, um, you have a loan, what, which you can use to buy more positions than what you have in your cash. So that's the main thing on a margin account. You're using more money than what your actual account balance is. That means you can also pay interest for any negative cash balance. And that's a very important thing, what you should know where to find this and uh, how to check this. Because especially if you change from cash to, uh, to margin account, you need to know where you can check these details, how much margin or how much interest you pay for this. Then, as I said, for the cash account, it's of course the opposite than for a margin account. Uh, with different IB entities, the pattern day trading rule applies, especially IB UK and IB LLC. With IB Ireland, you don't need to worry about it. And I think these are the main three IB entities for margin account. A currency exchange is also necessary, especially if you want to avoid the negative uh, cash balance. So in this case, it's uh, not a big difference uh, to a cash account, but uh, later on I will show you for which trades, for which uh, um, strategy it might be not needed to exchange your, your currency. But as I said here, for negative or to avoid negative um, cash balance, of course, you also need to exchange your currency. And you can, of course, trade all different products here. And uh, we have also a minimum funding in this case of $2,000 um, from only when you have more than this, you can start changing your account from cash to margin. Normally, there's also a few questions what you need to answer that I will make sure that you also have a knowledge about the margin trading itself. And if you want to change it the other way around from margin back to cash, just make sure that you don't have any products uh, which are related to a margin accounts uh, in your portfolio still open. Let's say some future contracts or some special option strategies. 
then the downgrade should be not possible before you need to close these positions to downgrade your account back to cash. But now let's have a quick look in the Trader Workstation app. Normally here, the easiest thing, you can see it here in my account, is below your portfolio, you see how much cash you have in Euro and USD. And uh, for example, if I want to trade something now, what is in British Pound, I need to exchange my USD, what is left in cash, into British Pound to be able to, to do so. Or let's say in Euro, as I only have 25 Euros left, it should be the same. But in a margin account, like I said, I don't need to no, I don't need to do this. We can for example make short try here. Let's do this for example for SEP. We will buy 50 stocks of SEP and then you see also here what is your current margin use and then what is the change with this trade. So I need 2000 dollar margin or euro in this case and after this i will have a use of a three thousand eight hundred dollars margin use and in this case as the stock is in euro i will have a negative uh, euro cash balance and that's what i mean um, as soon as i do this straight as i have to invest here five thousand five hundred euros and i don't have this cash i will have here almost five thousand five hundred euros as a negative cash balance what is possible in margin account and for this I need to pay then an interest. That's why it's important also to check always under account and account window your, your cash balance in the different currencies. As you can see here, Euro, US dollar. And as soon as you have here a negative cash balance, you can always right click and say close all non-base currency balance and means but also that the closest uh, positive balance or it's not in your base currency otherwise you can always go step by step and say i want to close my euro currency balance means in this case it will sell this 25 euros but if there's a negative um, it will do the same so you can always do this here in this account overview where you can see all your different cash um, situation for the portfolio and it's important to also know which different settings are available to change from cash to margin. And here we will go just to the account management. You can also log in directly to this, but in this case, we will go here directly to the settings. And in settings, you have under account configuration, account type, and here you're able to change from margin to cash or the other way around so i think that's also an important thing to know under settings you can uh, find this and if you want to exchange currency like in the video there's two different ways convert currency here in the client portal or as this is giving you only the possibility to do this with a market order if you want to place a limit order you can do this here in your trader workstation and like also shown in the other video, what I told you earlier here, it's just important to say FX conversion, that it's not a Forex trade, it's a real conversion. And then you can here place your limit order. That's the most common, the two most common ways to exchange your currency. Yeah, I hope in this video you could see all the differences between cash and uh, margin. It also depends a little bit uh, which IB entity you're working with. But I think it was pretty clear and also showed what you can do and uh, what is necessary to use a cash and uh, margin account. So I hope to um, see you soon and will be thankful and grateful for every support. So don't forget to like or comment the video. I will see you here soon again. Bye bye.